Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for the past one and a half months I've been learning touch typing or how to type without looking uh, at the keyboard using all 10 fingers. I was used to only using my two index, finger, index fingers which made me quite an average typer, uh, probably like most of you watching. Most things actually don't require you to go through hours of online lessons which some websites offer for learning touch typing. I took a different approach that I'm going to show you in a minute, which uses two websites, um, only five minutes per day of fun practice and in a couple of weeks you will type faster than you are doing right now with all 10 fingers and without looking at your keyboard. There's only one month or a total of five hours of practice between this guy right here and this guy right here. So let me quickly tell you the three reasons that motivated me and should motivate you to learn this skill. First, it's less hard than you think. Only a couple of minutes uh, each day are enough to learn this skill. There wasn't one day that I missed because I was looking forward to it each day. I think mostly because of the way how I chose to learn touch typing and one other thing I did, which I will also show you in a minute. Reason number two, probably the biggest motivation is the time you will save by learning this technique. I love to improve my productivity and to leverage my time. There's no doubt that touch typing is a high leverage activity you should take up if you type a lot. If you spend 30 minutes a day typing over the course of a year, that adds up to seven and a half days of typing nonstop. The average typing speed is about 40 words per minute and touch typing can boost that to 60 to 80 words per minute, which is a 50 to 100% increase. Um, if your typing speed increases just by 50% through touch typing, you will end up saving about half a year of time throughout your life, which is kind of amazing. This is of course most relevant if you're doing a lot of typing, which is quite likely the case as you're watching this video. Writing is quickly growing into a major part of, uh, of my day. To get your work outside um, into the public, you need to somehow uh, make yourself heard. Even if you're using your voice as a medium of transmission, like here on YouTube, in general, you need to write some kind of script because you wanna be concise to only take as much time of your listener as is really necessary. And reason number three, lastly, it feels and looks just really cool and can actually spare you quite some, some neck tension because you don't have to look at your keyboard, right? I also bought a stand for my, for my MacBook and revived the magic mouse and keyboard that I have from my old iMac um, to make it uh, an even better experience. Learning touch typing really reminded me of learning how to play guitar and piano. What happens during the process is you build muscle memory. Muscle memory or procedural memory is a type of motor learning and happens in the brain. Through the act of repetition, your brain cements actions into its neural pathways so that the movement becomes kind of second nature. It's the science behind why uh, you don't forget how to ride a bike or why after, if you're a musician after years of not practicing a particular song, um, you will still be able to play it on your guitar without looking at your fingers. Uh, your brain just knows which muscles to fire next. Okay, now let's move to how you can learn touch typing. The two websites I used are keybr.com for my daily three minutes of practice, followed by a speed check at 10fastfingers.com. I actually took these from, uh, or learned about these from Ala, Ali Abdel from his YouTube channel. You should definitely check it out. It's a, a great channel. I really admire him. Um, I've linked both websites uh, in the description. Apart from the practice being a lot of fun somehow, maybe that's only my weird perception of what fun is, I tracked my, my progress in a spreadsheet and I found that this definitely helped me to be consistent. Each day I was looking forward to measure my speed and wanted to have my, my learning curve, curve always going up, which then the next day motivated me to be even better than the day before. Ivan, whoop, whoop. Do you just see how you're getting better day after day? That's what I use 10 fast fingers for. Let's have a look um, at this website. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, 
you have these words uh, that you are supposed to type in, um, which actually the 300 most common words in the English language, as opposed to KBR, where most of the words are actually made up. The website then tracks your typing speed over the course of one minute and then gives you a number, which is your word per minute count. And then you put that into your spreadsheet if you want to do that. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. It's uh, really simple, but a lot of fun somehow. So there's two things I would leave you with. Before starting to practice, check which finger is delegated to which key. Let's have a, a look at uh, keybr.com. So that's how the website looks like. Um, the words are, as I said, mostly made up. Um, so you will uh, start typing. TBR uses an algorithm that advances one finger at a time, waiting for you to reach a certain level of confidence and speed for that key before moving to the next. Before moving to a new key, check which finger to hit it with. I once mistakenly started using my right index finger for the letter B, um, and it was really a lot of effort to make it right. If it does happen, make the effort and correct it, it's worth it. It's quite difficult though, I tell you, so better check beforehand. Your starting position is the always always the home row, which is basically the middle row on your keyboard, and the little knobs on the F and J key, uh, if you've ever wondered, are for your index fingers. Um, they just help you to orient yourself, your your hands on the keyboard without having to to look at the keyboard. So then let your fingers curve naturally when placed on the home row. From here, each finger has um, its keys that are also depicted here if you want to take a screenshot. While typing, you should not uh, rest your palms on your laptop or on the table. Um, it enables you to move more freely over, the, over your keyboard and also gives your hands a more natural uh, posture. Uh, tip number two is that you should never look at the keyboard. Just don't. Um, it's what we are trying to move away from. So. Just don't build a bad habit from uh, from the start, right? Another thing that I remembered uh, from learning uh, how to play guitar is that when you are practicing on KBR mostly, type faster than you think you are able to. Most people tend to be cautious and really hit the right key, but uh, thankfully there's no punishment for hitting the wrong keys. Um, it even has advantages to prioritize speed uh, in this case, because you will always work at the edge of your skill level and not get too comfortable at a certain stage. It's also more efficient to build the necessary muscles faster. Now see what practice feels right for you. I found that uh, practicing touch typing a bit before starting to work on different things was a great icebreaker for when I'm sitting in front of my MacBook, having an endless amount of things I need to work on uh, most of them I don't know how to do and don't know how, where to start. So hey, might just as well get five minutes of touch typing practice from my to-do list, right? Most of the time though, already a couple of minutes into practice, I need to stop because ideas start popping into my head. Uh, somehow the action of typing makes my brain run wild and I get really creative. Um, which then makes it very easy to ease into my daily tasks. Maybe you'll have the same experience. One last thing that I stumbled over while going through my notes for this video during the first weeks, I experienced some pain in my lower arms um, while practicing and I was wondering if that was normal. I made sure not to overdo it, but still got in my couple of minutes of practice each day. Um, so don't worry, it worked out well. Probably it's just a new set of muscles that need to get used to the new activity. So that's it. I wish you good luck with your practice. Feel free to put your comments, uh, questions and your own experiences into the comment section. Thank you very much uh, for watching and talk to you next time.